Oh, Jake, you don't look so good. Ew. You gotta start eating better. Mm-hmm. I'll bring you a salad for lunch. Oh, no. No vegetables. I hate vegetables. All four of us love to cook. The menu today is <laughs> collard greens and peach cobbler. A lot of sugar. <laughs> we need to change this. Yeah. Our goal is to make them more nutritious. Mm. So we want healthy to be good and not turn people off. I like this one, too. Funding for Sci Girls is provided by the following. The National Science Foundation, supporting education and research across all fields of science and engineering. The National Science Foundation, where discoveries begin. Math and science are everywhere. They're the building blocks of tomorrow. That's why ExxonMobil sponsors programs to get kids excited about math, science, engineering, and technology. So one day, they may become the scientists of the future. so good. Oh, man, I'm really glad there's a whole internet between us. I don't want to catch what you've got. I don't think stuffing yourself with Rancho Double Stuffed Cheese Fry Balls is contagious. Oh, wait, dude, how many did you eat? Ew, do you know what those things are made out of? <laughs> Look, I'm reading the ingredients here and I don't even know. <clears throat> Jake, you gotta start eating better. Mm-hmm. I'll bring you a salad for lunch. Oh, no. No vegetables. I hate vegetables. If you don't eat vegetables, what do you eat? Rancho Double Stuffed Cheese Fry Balls. Oh, I'm gonna need some help. Sigh, girls! Whee! <laughs> girls, I have a problem for you to chew on. Hmm, maybe. Oh, that looks yummy. Just the kind of mouth-watering help I need. All four of us love to cook, so we go to other people's houses and, you know, try out, like, our own family recipes. My food background is southern food. In my family down south, when you're tall enough to reach the stove, you're old enough to cook. It's really fun to cook with my friends because they have like more experience than me so I can learn from them and like I can do more stuff in the kitchen which is always good. Everybody comes from a different background from cooking so we just come together and bring our own ideas. Today we're at Claire's house and we're gonna cook some dishes that Bree's family likes to make. So the menu today is <laughs> collard greens and peach cobbler. They're two very big dishes in my family. Our goal is to make them more nutritious. The taste of collard greens before you cook them are really bitter. They're not very good at all. <laughs> one package is smoked ham hock or smoked turkey wing. We have one medium chopped white or yellow onion, salt and pepper, garlic salt, four to five bunches of greens. Reduce heat to medium low boil for about an hour. Yep, needs a little bit more seasoning. What's surprising to me in these recipes is there's a ton of salt in the collard greens. I think in the peach cobbler, we put like a whole stick of butter into the recipe. It's a lot of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an athlete and I like to eat stuff that will give me energy on the court. My personal goal and I think everyone else's goal is to take these two recipes and you know, really change them so that you can eat them without worrying about your health. Now the reward of tasting <laughs> They're good. Mm, yeah, they're good. They're so good. I love these. They taste like my mom's. That smells mm -hmm. so good. One, two, three. That is so good. Mm. This, this is, is a comfort food. It's definitely like if you had a rough day, yeah. just curl up in your sweatpants <laughs> and, and, and cry and eat this peach cobbler. 
we started thinking about how we could make the original recipes more nutritious. So we went online, did some research, and found that they're really bad for you. Sugar's 52.4 grams. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a lot. In one serving size. That's like oh so sodium is 6,676 <laughs> milligrams. Oh my, oh my gosh. That is a lot of pretzels. The core ingredients, the peaches and the collard greens, are really good for you. They kind of get canceled out by all the other ingredients. You guys, this is awful for you. We need to change this. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Seriously. We've already made the original versions of the peach cobbler and the collard greens. Now we should try to figure out healthier versions. Our goal is to make it healthier, like substituting some ingredients, just but not losing the general flavor. So we want healthy to be good and not turn people off. We should break up into teams. I'll go with Akila and you two can go together. So in our separate groups, you know, maybe we could make like two different versions of the original recipes. Yeah, and maybe we can rate each other's because cooking is kind of yeah, like you're right. gonna like your own food. So you guys can rate ours and we'll rate yours. Why don't we try bringing like a bunch of friends and so that we can have a lot more opinions on our food. I think that's a really good idea, Claire. We should do that. Mm -hmm. Right, so a taste testing basically at the end of everything. Exactly. So we went online, we found this really cool scientist named Emily and we're all really excited to meet her. Emily is a grad student. She's worked with kids our age a lot. So you ready to help us? Cause you know, oh, we're so excited. Help. Tell me what you want to do. What's the plan? We're trying to make an old Southern recipe of collard greens and peach cobbler into a healthier meal. I love collard greens and peach cobbler. Maybe we could try to enhance the flavor of the peaches and the greens a little bit more, rather than just kind of yeah. drowning the flavors yeah. out with all that yummy butter and yeah. flour. <laughs> let's shop. Let's go. Yeah. yeah, let's go. Wow, look at all those veggies. No fry balls here. Hi. These peaches here are from Michigan, and then these are a white peach, and it's from California. Smell that. What do you think we should do, Emily? Yeah, which ones do you oh, think yeah. we should get? I think we should go for the ones from Michigan. Why? Because they, they don't have to travel as far. And the longer something has to has to travel before it gets to you, the more it loses its, its nutrients. Whoa, look at those sunflowers. Those are taller than me. This garden is so pretty. Wow. I, I can't even... believe that this is in the middle of the city. Look at all these vegetables. I've never been to this garden before. Like, what's the story behind it? Um, it's a community garden. Oh, we found the greens. You guys made a really good choice choosing the collard greens because look at how dark green they are. And it means there's, a, there's a loads of vitamin A and vitamin K in here. So Emily, what made you decide to go into nutrition? Well, I've always loved food. When I was an undergraduate, I studied chemistry, and I was always writing my papers about carrots or caffeine or some kind of food-related topic. After uh, I finished my bachelor's degree, I got a job cooking on a tall ship. So I actually I applied to the University of Minnesota um, grad school while I was on the ship. Emily knows so much about nutrition and chemistry, and we're just hoping that she'll be able to give us that extra push forward in our investigation. Let's go learn about Brie. I'm Brie. Come on in. Ta-da, I'm like a big makeup freak. This is what my eyes look like before I put makeup on. This is what my eyes look like after I do my makeup. So we're all cooking goes down. This is my dog, Sable. Go lay down. Back up. Go. <laughs> no! I play volleyball. I've been playing since I was four. Got it. Emily took us to this really cool cooking academy for kids, so it was really bright and it was really roomy in there and it was nice. We're just going to focus on each ingredient and what's really special about each ingredient. Sugar molecules love water, totally attracted to water, and so they'll just pull them out of the fruit. And so you'll get a nice sauce from putting sugar on, and that's going to be to our advantage when we're making our peach cobbler. So collard greens, there's an enzyme in here. When you Cut the leaves, 
you break the cellular structure and it makes a new compound that has a really bitter taste. Is there a way to like alter it so that it still has the same benefits but tastes different? Oh, that's a really good thought. Well, I think um, that's, that's where seasonings come in. Why don't we break and do some brainstorming? Yeah, brainstorm, side girls. My stomach is growling. So we really want to, you know, change up this peach cobbler. And well, like Emily said, you know, like find different things that we could change. Maybe roll it up mm -hmm. and like and um, chop it. Yeah. So we're gonna need to come up with some way to evaluate our foods. So one of the ways that we can do this in science is to set up a survey. I would probably ask like what the texture is. We want to do a taste test because we are just basically trying to take the food, greens and peaches, and find out a way to bring out their flavor. So we just want to start out with us and work our way up. So how do you want to set up your peach experiment? Well, we were thinking maybe experimenting with sugar and salt and seeing how the juices can come out with those two. What about like maybe an acid? Like, like lemon? lemon? Oh yeah, lemon. What are some other acids that we use in the kitchen? Do you, are you familiar with? Like Have you ever made a vault? Yes. Vinegar. vinegar. <laughs> we put um, lemon juice. We put vinegar. We put salt, sugar, and we just had the peach itself to like a control. So we'll try to retain as much of the texture and the color as possible, and try to get rid of that bitterness. Okay, last thing we should like cook them all together. Yeah, and then every five minutes we'll take a small amount out. Yeah. Five minutes now. Okay. Time for the taste test. I'm ready for the test. Can't see anything. Good. What flavors come to mind when eating this dish? Sweet, salty, bitter, sour, spicy. Salty. Okay. And a little bitter. Giving the taste test was really fun because it was just fun to see what they thought without looking at the dish. When tasting the greens, it was interesting. When Brie and Akila like remade it, it was more crunchy and dry a lot of the times. For the collard greens, we had one big batch, but we would take out a certain portion every five minutes. Yeah. What was the favorite? There was a tie between the version cooked for 10 minutes and the version cooked for 25 minutes, which is interesting because one is cooked way mm -hmm. less than the other. All right, Brie, you ready for your test? Yeah. Let's go. Right. And then this is your nose plug. The purpose of the nose plug is to, you can't smell what's on the peach. OK, good. I'm good. I got my dog. Ready. Oh. So what flavors come to mind when eating this dish? Oh, my god. It's like sour and salty. Not good. Uh -uh. It was really fun to do the taste test because um, it was fun seeing their reactions to the peaches. Okay, so what do you guys think was your least favorite? The one with the, the salt. One. Yes. For salt. sure. It was just horrible. Salt. It was Nasty. like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I chewed it. You were right on the salt. That's the <laughs> one that was the least favorite. The favorite overall, we put vinegar on it. That's interesting. Yeah. I think it'll be interesting to see how these recipes turn out as each of us experiment and find out new things about our dish. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, bye. Good luck. And here's Akila. Hi, my name's Akila. I'm 14. I like to play the violin. It's like, that's my favorite thing to do is play the violin. I like to play softball. I brought my cat, Nadia. I like to read, watch TV. You know, I'm a, a, reg I'm a regular person. We did our taste test. We came up with some pretty weird results, I'd say. Do we want to make a graph? Yeah, we should. Let's put the highest number first, which was vinegar, which is kind of weird. Emily said that we should just use like two to three teaspoons of vinegar for mm -hmm. five peaches, which if we can eliminate two cups of sugar, that'd be incredible. Today, Monica and I are testing our variations on the peach cobbler. And the first one was the granola topping. That's pretty much all it is, it's oats and nuts and dried fruit. So my guess is that it's pretty good for you. So we just made the granola that my family makes and put it on top of the peaches with a little bit of vinegar and then pop that in the oven. I think it's done. Mm -hmm. It tastes a lot more of like peach. Yeah, this is really good. 
but it doesn't taste like peach cobbler, which was one of our main goals. I have an idea for a technique. We could grind some of these nuts up into a fine meal. The second one, we made a nut topping with Emily and put that on top. So this is brown rice syrup, and it's just, it's a little bit less sweet, and it's a little bit stickier, I find, than um, some of the other binders. Do we put coconut milk in it, just to make it like juicy and um, make it a little bit more interesting and get a different flavor and see what happens. It's an interesting flavor and kind of an interesting texture. Hmm, I like this one too. Yeah, me too. And I think our decision should be the nuts dosel topping with the coconut milk right. and the granola topping. I think it'll be good to let the taste testers taste it out. Okay. Hi, I'm Claire. I'm 15 years old. I've been a dancer since I was three and I love to cook. I really like to use fresh ingredients from our garden. This is my dog, Oakley. Hi, Oakley. Pasta is one of my favorite foods and shells are my favorite pasta. We're not cooking and dancing. I love to spend time outside at my house. Back at you, Claire. Today's challenge, collard greens. That was a little scary. <laughs> Today, me and Akilah experimented with how we wanted to flavor the greens in a healthier way. We learned from Emily that the longer you cook something, the more the nutrients comes out. So maybe if we added some seasoning, we could cook it for five minutes, which is even better. We're gonna start it at five minutes, and then we're gonna add the greens. Hi, guys. Wow. So we were thinking to add more flavor, soy sauce and smoked paprika. What do you think mm. about that? I think those are both really great ideas. Okay. I think they'll um, replace the ham hock really nicely. Are you going to serve them just as collard greens or have you decided how you're going to serve them yet? We're going to put them on a pizza. Oh, good idea. everyone likes pizza. Everybody likes exactly. pizza. Exactly. Whoa. Oh Amazing, God, Psy so Girls. Good. That's really good. One thing I'm really happy about, the bitterness factor is gone. When we tasted the pizzas, Brie and I both uh, liked the paprika one better. It's definitely sweeter mm -hmm. than this one. This one is definitely more bitter. Yum, good job, you guys. We were thinking, let's just make two paprika pizzas, but call them different names and see how people take to them and see how a name can affect how people like it or not. So our next big step is to invite all of our friends to come and taste the pizza and what they think of it. First thing today, me and my friends are gonna go to this test kitchen and that's where we're gonna do the taste test. The main idea is we're gonna have the same pizza. Just the names are gonna be different. Yeah play with people's heads, make them think that they're eating two different pizzas, but they're not. Same thing, different names? Tricky. So we will go with pizza a la tasty, and mm -hmm. then let's just put... Collard greens pizza. Yeah. We're cooking and trying to get this taste test ready, but we have to get it done in like, what, half an hour? Okay, we really need to like move fast here because people are showing up. In the next room, we have our taste tester showing up, which is really, really nerve wracking. I'm definitely getting a taste of the pressure of being on like a kneading show or something. We could use help kneading out this dough. As long as our uh, cobbler's in the oven, I'm fine. We had this little tiny oven. We put our cobbler's in, and after I'd put it in, I didn't really feel any heat coming out towards me, and I was like, hmm, that's a little weird. This has absolutely no heat. Oh my goodness. It's just it like really... warm in there. We plan to taste this, but I mean, like, there's only so much you can plan. When you face, like, difficulties, like, that that oven didn't work. OK, let's try to find another market, like, another bakery, and see if they'll, they'll let us, let us the, use it. And everyone's waiting already. Grab your things, and let's go. Um, slight difficulties have but, led us to yeah. believe that we <laughs> will not be starting this taste test for maybe a couple minutes. Yeah. More than a couple minutes <laughs> because the oven is not working. Sorry for the delay. We'll try to get it done as fast as we can. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much for letting us We owe you.
When the bakery offered to let us use their oven, I think like as a whole group, we felt really relieved. And so even though it was hectic, I think we did pretty well. You're gonna be tasting two foods and two versions of each food. So be honest yeah. about what you taste. Yeah, don't try to be nice. Okay. Like, if you don't like it, if you don't like it, just say, say it. it. Yeah. yeah. One, two, two three. three. Go. Here's collard green pizza. Do you want to taste some? That's pizza A. And try this one, pizza B, pizza a la tasty. What flavors come to mind when tasting this dish? It's not really spicy. It's kind of savory. OK, so soft. Still salty. Still oh. salty. The leaves are kind of a little bit bitter. Which textures come to mind when tasting dish A? Kind of smooth. OK, so soft. Kind of dense. Alright, and which dish do you prefer, A or B? If you had to pick one, which one would you pick? Out of these two? Yeah. A. A? A or B? Um, probably B. I like A better. You like A better? It was like a really hectic day. We were all like running around, scrambling around, and half trying to figure out what we're supposed to be doing. We got everything baked, we got it all done, so that was good. And now, let's meet Monica. I'm Monica. This is my drum set. Oh yeah, that's my dad. Hi. <laughs> this is my family's guinea pig. And now we can go into the kitchen. The finished product, scallion pancake. It's delicious. Let's look over our data here and see what we found. That was yeah. pretty interesting today, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was, was. Hectic. It was super crazy. Eight people liked the greens pizza, which is letter A. Yeah. And six people liked the pizza alla tasty, which, which is, is letter B. Which is surprising because I thought pizza alla tasty would be way above the greens pizza's numbers in the future instead of having them taste it and telling us which one they liked better. Just have them pick it off, like if we made a and menu, a, yeah, and they say, and which menu. one would you like? And just see which one they pick. Yeah. The family recipe compared to the paprika recipe. Yeah. Sodium from the family recipe is 1,926 milligrams, and the sodium from the paprika recipe is 366. Shocking. Yeah. Not really, but... But it's a good shock. Yeah. For paprika, the total fat is 8 grams, and the total fat and the family recipe is 43 grams. So we didn't just accomplish this, we nailed it. Yeah. So looking at this, I mean, it's kind of obvious that people really like the granola topping. Granola was picked um, as the favorite by our taste testers by more than two to one. I was a little bit surprised by the results of the taste test just because I thought they were gonna like the nut topping better. Right, because like when we made it, like we both thought the nut topping was better. Yeah. Better tasting and yeah. So I wonder what was the diff what the difference was between us and the crowd. The calories and the sugars and the fats were all decreased by a lot. And um, we added fiber and we added protein, which is important and it's good that you get that in a dessert. So today we're at the farmer's market and we're gonna be passing out our recipes and passing out like samples <laughs> for our peach cobbler and the collard greens. In the end, we decided on two names for each of our dishes, and it's peach out, out. peach out, and pizza a la tasty. Yeah. <laughs> Attention, all farmers market shoppers. We're currently having a cooking demonstration, and we're going to be giving out free samples of pizza and peach cobbler. So come on over to the information booth. I feel really good about what we did because we actually achieved our goal. We're just going to show you some of the techniques that we used so that you can see like how to make it at home and we have some recipes up here. People at the market seemed to really honestly like our food, like they kept on wanting more. It was really rewarding and we were all very happy. <laughs> Hi guys! Hey! hey. Great job! Emily met us at the farmer's market and so it was pretty fun to see her that we learned a lot from her and so we kind of applied that into our cooking today. Thank you so much, Emily. You've helped us so much. Yeah. Thanks for being Aww. such great learners. I think what I gained from this experience was really being aware of healthy eating so that you know I can really change the way that I eat and the way that the people around me eat. 
the things we did here, like it really reinforced our friendships. And I think we're gonna keep doing that in the future. We have that mentality like, okay, we're a team. We're gonna nip this in the butt. We're gonna get it. And we have fun doing it too. So it's great. Okay, so if you can't tell which ones have vegetables in them, you cut out the junk food and eat healthier, right? You're not gonna fool me with this blindfold thingy. I can smell a vegetable a mile away. So yeah, it's a deal. Deal. Mmm. Mm. Hey, that's good. Mashed potatoes, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, except that it's mashed potatoes and broccoli. No way. Way! That's one. Next dish. Ooh, that's awesome. It's a chocolate shake, right? Well, it's chocolate infused. Chocolate infused what? Wheat grass. <laughs> hey, 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 you can't take back liking it. I know, I know. <laughs> that's two. Last one. Mm. Okay, it's good. Tastes like an apple, but I know it has to be a trick. It's got a spinach wrap or something. Nope, just an apple. Tricky. I'm sorry, little guys. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, Jake, you're breaking my heart. Uh, go ahead, eat it. It's all about moderation, Jake. All about moderation. In my family, we like to make a lot of foods from all over. What about that paradise salad that you were talking about that one time? We make that a lot. You just find a bunch of canned vegetables and throw it all together. My food background is somewhat southern, but then we like to eat a lot of pizza and chili and different stuff like that. What about you, Monica? We make like Chinese food in general, and one of them is like called like tong yu bing or tong yu bing, and it's like basically like a Chinese pancake, I would call, and it's like super delicious. Our investigation is about rescue robots. We wanted to give the robot human personality traits. Hello, side girls. Robots! We went stargazing, and we couldn't see many stars. Light pollution is actually a really big environmental problem. Star party! <laughs> That's, That's scuba. scuba. We both became interested in the health of the reefs, and it became this full-on investigation. I used to think being a scientist was wearing a lab coat. It's going to be really cool. Funding for SciGirls is provided by the following. The National Science Foundation, supporting education and research across all fields of science and engineering. The National Science Foundation, where discoveries begin. Math, science, and curious young minds. They're our future. That's why ExxonMobil and former astronaut Sally Ride created the Sally Ride Science Academy to help teachers inspire our students so they may become the scientists and engineers of tomorrow. Set up a profile, find new friends, create a page for your science project, watch SciGirls videos, and have fun! So come on, be a SciGirl on PBSKidsGo.org. See you there! Bye!